there was this stretch of land which was filled with waste and like anybody you want to clean it up we cleaned it up but then the waste reappeared nobody is really interested to change overnight even if people segregate there's no way to recycle it there's no infrastructure available so there are multiple broken pieces of this how do we solve this problem that's going to kill our future generations literally the problem is huge houses and what i realized is there is no solution that's actually solving the problem which is like say a big plastic bag with food and glass and everything mixed into it that's why it's on the streets day and night sir nane inga vandittu 25 25 varshama irukla sir nane inda kuppinale sir konja kailala vepetta avu sir இங்கே வந்து போகிற வர பசங்க ஸ்கூல் பசங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் கொஞ்சம் எஃபெக்ட் ஆகுதுங்க அதனால் வந்துட்டு நம்மளுக்கு தொந்தரவு சார் அதனால் எவ்வளோ க்ளீன் பண்ணாலும் வண்டி நிற்க வச்சாலும் அந்த வண்டியில் குப்பை போடுறதில்ல எல்லாம் ரோட்லேயே போடுறாங்க குப்பிங்க கிட்ஸ் டைங் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ரெஸ்பிரேட்ரி கேன்சர் பிகாஸ் த லேண்ட் ஃபில்ஸ் ஆர் பர்ஜனிங் அண்ட் தென் தே பேர்ன் அண்ட் தென் தெர் இஸ் லீச்சேட் திக் பிளாக் லிக்விட் தட் ஹஸ் ஆல்ரெடி பர்குலேட்டட் இன் டு த கிரவுண்ட் வாட்டர் and residents in and around are literally having such water to drink that people are dying already we think that we are very far away from it but it's not and that's when i realized that there needs to be a solution first to sort the trash because the moment i do that then the degradables could be recycled and uh, during that journey the initial few months is when i met my co-founder sort of so i would see her you know going from her house which was about 40 kilometers from the place where she was uh, testing the machine she was walking for a while taking a bus then taking a metro again getting down taking a cab and reaching that place and she was doing this every single day when i started making my small prototype because i was going to the landfill and i used to go there and put waste into my machine and it was just not working it was just not working in fact the machine broke down and i had exhausted all my money and i say i want to give up this was i think when she was in third grade yeah she was the angel she is coming all the way from heaven to tell the human beings in earth how horrible you people are you are you are so insensitive you don't value life all these things it's so her happy place is a stage that i think is her gift that's nivedha she always thinks that i want to change 
the lives of the not few people billions and billions of people i want to change their lives i want to make them better as any uh, startups it's not easy to get the money or support so she has asked me mom i don't have others to finance me what should i do so all the money which i said these are all the money for you how much ever you want you take it i am not going to take a penny out of it use it for your business what if i fail failing is not a problem go back to zero that's a wonderful number you know that zero because that from there on everything starts i told her see don't give up you're doing a great work and it will benefit the society a lot frankly i didn't have any idea about what i was saying and she said come on the ground and show it to me you know uh, you would not be even able to stand in such a place the following day i went there i could see babies there in the lap of those women who were removing plastics and paper and i i really felt horrified you know how can somebody work in this situation when we were working in the dump sites we could feel what the waste picker is going through because if we don't do this billions of people have to do this they have to live in waste kaalla naal manike endrich ponamna saangalam or 5 6 mani varaiku perikindu irukku or 5 6 moota seethruvom 5 6 moota seethruvom engalukku nadandu nadandu kai kaal ella valikidhu idupu vali saar varaiku panni da avanu sir This is the first trash pot. This was 50 kgs and R50. It never worked. It broke. It was absolutely the reverse. Wet fell and dry, dry fell and wet. I don't know what were we on. I mean, what did what made us think that we could <laughs> crack it? Something kept us going and we could never give up on the mission. The worst part is you are nauseated. Yeah, right? You you want to puke, but you have to think of a problem that's impossible to solve. You can think when you are in an air conditioned room or when you are in a laboratory, but thinking in a dump site in a landfill where it's nauseating and figuring out solutions and not just figuring out it's not like hey i got an idea and it's done you have to fix it you have to prototype you have to try it there because you can't come back and try it because it's very far away every every land no food because there's nothing available no where to pee especially for me <laughs> but yeah it took us two and a half years of shooting in the dark perspective or our design constraint for developing the machine was low cost low operation low footprint we have to reach every nook and corner of india to every village our machine if you put a waste which is unsorted we can extract the valuables which is like your wet waste which can go to composting which can go to biogas then we can extract the dry waste which is basically paper plastic and during this journey we also realize that the plastics that come out has no value we were left with the problem what is going to happen to that so we ended up creating another technology to take non recyclable plastics and recycle it we ended up recycling it into two major products one is recycled sheets which are like plywood and recycled lumber which is like timber This particular material can go to the construction industry, can go to furniture making, can go to various applications like that. Recycled plastic under you know, yar gota, 
ರೀಸೈಕಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಿಂದ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಲ್ಲ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ನಾವ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆನಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ಇರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಳಿತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಪಾಪ ಪಾಠ ಕೇಳ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಷ್ಟ ಇತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ಬೆಂಚ್ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ ಗೊತ್ತ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಿಂದ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ನ ಮರುಬಳಕೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ನಾನು ತಂದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಆದಂತಹ ಖುಷಿ ಅಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿ ಪಟ್ಟರು ವಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಟ್ವೈಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಥ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಲ್ಟಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ದಮ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಎಜುಕೇಟ್ ದಮ್ show them that it's not waste to begin with it's just waste because we have thrown it in the wrong way we have disposed it in the wrong way and we don't know what to do about it it was not a easy journey it was very tough for her I thought uh, uh, it may not be possible by you alone but when you start you can find people coming and joining your mission. What's your plan tomorrow? I'm leaving at 4. Hmm? The flight is at huh? 8. So Eight. I need to be there. Okay. At least 3 hours before. Okay. many a times that i am stuck and no door is opening i sleep with that giving up attitude but then i get up in the morning i'm like somebody has to do it and i think i can uplink which is the open innovation platform of the world economic forum which is looking to support people and planet focused entrepreneurs you're going to meet one of them today without any further ado i want to introduce nevada rm why am i here why am i thrilled about this event and why am i talking to each one of you is because we have a vision of preventing 25000 tons of waste from entering the landfills every day Iveda you develop the world's first completely automated trash sorting and recycling system how can we ensure that no one gets left behind uh, as part of the circular transition so we wanted something that was local and creating value and employing people right creating dignified employment now if you're going to employ manpower to do this it's not only inhuman it's impractical too but there is a real problem policies globally as well as country wise are not supportive of new year technologies taking more risk and also not supportive of circular economy in a way we need to solve the problem right from top you have to stop the manufacturing of those plastics problem is like a mountain all of us put together put all the technologies put all the activism put all the policies everything we are a small ant and if we as small ants can't be together then we don't stand a chance